my friend Hannah sent me a link today to a story which crucially isn't about Brexit. Something else is going on in the UK. And it's a news story about an inmate in an English prison and he's had a mobile phone smuggled to him and he's been taking pictures of his prison meals and he's then sent these pictures to the press saying, the food here is worse than dog food. I'd rather starve than eat it. Now, given that it costs between 36 and 110,000 pounds a year to keep one fucking criminal locked up, if that twat wants to starve to death, I'm all for it. In fact, I'd actively encourage it throughout the prison population. The pictures he sent, yes, the food doesn't look great, but it's no worse than what's being served up in schools and hospitals. Food for ordinary, decent people. And oddly enough, in none of these pictures are there any fruit or vegetables, even though they are available at all prison canteens. But he's a criminal. He's not going to be used to making the right choices in life. What I don't get, though, is what he's trying to achieve. Does he think there'll be some wave of public sympathy? And suddenly every prison canteen will be converted into a fucking michelin star restaurant where the scum we keep off the street will be escorted to their own individual tables a chair with an anti macassar on the back a table with all those different knives not a good idea in prison this one's for butter this one's for fish and this is to shank that nonce on d-wing and then they'd be handed the menu your chef today sir is jamie fucking oliver would you like to see the wine list now if i were running the prisons in this country and given the state of British politics, there's nothing to say I might not be in a few weeks. I think the next cabinet reshuffle will just be like a public fucking raffle. I would want every meal to be as dull as fucking possible. In fact, there's something called Huel, human fuel, which a lot of health nuts like, and that's a powder that contains everything that you need to keep you fit and healthy, and you mix it with water into this paste that just tastes of nothing. That would be every fucking meal in, pri in prisons if I had my way. Just let all the criminals know this is the British public doing you the decency of keeping you alive. There'd also be a lot less pool tables and PS4. Prisons would be much more like Soviet gulags. But crucially, for this dickhead, if he doesn't like uh, prison food, STOP BEING A FUCKING CRIMINAL!